Where in the world is my Leica Sumicron? Behold, my friends, the Leica 40mm Sumicron C. I've owned this one for a fair few years, having picked it up as part of a package with a Leica CL film camera. Too bad, so sad. The rangefinder patch on the CL is so dim as to be unusable, so it's a scale focuser only. I like to imagine it as the quirky love child of a Leica M1 and an MD2. And candidly, that kiddo and I aren't all that tight, but boy have I got some sass for that glass. I don't really know what that means. I'm just squeezing whatever I can from a tortured metaphor. I just like the lens is all. So let's talk about this little manual focus dream boat. It's small, it's fast, and it's sharp sometimes. It's also a bit heftier in the hand than one might expect, but I reckon that's because it has a reassuringly sturdy build. Mine also came with a rather fetching screw-on lens hood and cap. Dive, dive, dive! I should mention that there's some debate about whether this Sumicron, which is M-mount, is meant to work on Leica rangefinder bodies other than the CL. This is because it has something called a pitched cam, rather than the parallel cam you see on other M-mount glass. I've linked to an article below with more info. In my real-world experience, however, it worked just fine on my M240, no focusing problems at all, and that's with both the rangefinder patch and with live view. And candidly, for me, that isn't really an issue anyway, because I tend to use it most often on my Fuji X-Pro bodies, where it looks very much at home. But hey, this video isn't about me using the lens, it's about the lens going on adventures with some really cool people. I dig gear with stories and history. What can I say, I'm a sentimental cat. So I thought a fun way to supercharge the tale of this little Sumicron would be to get it into the hands of photographers whose work I respect and admire. And for the last year or so, that's what I've been doing. That is to say, sending the Sumicron to photographers across the US who have been kind enough to partner with me. And that's the real magic of the project, you know, seeing how these talented folks use it. It's been a blast to see how the lens's characteristics, features, and limitations inform their work. It's like giving a bunch of really talented chefs the same ingredient to see what they cook up. So what do you say? Let's see what's on the menu.
<laughs> Holy shirts and pants. The links to these photographer socials are in the descriptions below. Amazing people who create amazing work. Candidly, this project represents a shift for this channel, which has, to this point, been much more focused on gear acquisition than I ever intended. I'm grateful that this project allows me to use social media in the way that it was originally sold to us. You know, to meaningfully connect with geographically distant people with common interests. Speaking of geographically distant, there's a wide world out there, my friends. And as I write this, the Sumacron is in merry old England with the legendary DigiWave, whose work on Insta absolutely blows my mind. So check back in over the coming days, weeks, or months to find out where in the world is my Leica Sumacron? <laughs>